Hey, welcome back, Captain Ron. Uh, this is the sixth video of a series of six videos with six maneuvers, and it's for the uh, pilot certification flight. This is when you get your pilot certificate. So it's an exciting time in your aviation history. So uh, we're gonna start out with uh, one of the three ground reference maneuvers. The, there's turns around a point, a rectangular course, and then there's S turns over a highway or a, or a road or whatever line of sight you want to use. Now, the aircraft should enter it downwind. And then as you make this turn, the wind is going to push you further down, downwind, so you, your, your turn is going to have to be steeper to maintain that half circle. And then as you come up, you have to cross the line perpendicular. Your yaw can be off or you can be drifting depending on how the wind wants to treat you, but it should come back across the line perpendicular. Now, now you're coming into the wind and as you turn, the wind's going to blow you further. So you want to keep a flatter turn, a shallow turn, and then bring it around and again pass that line perpendicular. So let's demonstrate it with the aircraft. We have a little smaller model here, but okay, we, this is our line that we're gonna be doing S-turns over. The aircraft comes downwind, and then remember the wind is blowing us this way. It's pushing us. So you have to increase your bank angle to prevent you from going too far away from that line. And then you wanna cross the line now, you can be in a crab and drifting a little, but you shouldn't cross it on an angle. You should cross it perpendicular. And as you cross the line, now you're heading into the wind. So the wind, don't forget, is trying to push you back. And you want to maintain that half circle so your, your turn is going to be shallow. Because if you turn too sharp, it's going to push you across that line too soon. So you just keep a shallow turn and actually, your aircraft does not, the, the fuselage of the aircraft does not have to point in the direction of your travel. So I like to take advantage of the wind and, and in this case you tilt the disc a little and let the wind just drift you across and as long as you cross that line perpendicular then you've completed that exercise satisfactorily. So now we can go fly the maneuver in the actual aircraft. Okay, here we are. Tyler's up in front uh, with a camera. And we're going to demonstrate the S-turns over a straight line. So we're going to enter this on a downwind. And our first turn will be to our left. So we're at altitude and we're trimmed out. And... Uh, All right, I'm going to start my turn. We're going to use the railroad tracks off to our left here. And we're going to keep our speed up, our try to hold our altitude to plus or minus 100 feet, and our speed at 10 miles an hour. And what we're doing is we're making two half circles over the straight line. So, here we go straight perpendicular over the line and then we'll start our turn now we're downwind so our turn is going to be steeper as the wind is trying to blow us to the right as we're turning to the left so a steeper turn on a downwind now we're coming into the wind we got a wind in our face we want to pass the railroad track our purpose straight across the railroad track. Now the yaw can be at one side or the other. And we've got a helicopter off to our left. Alright, now we're going to do the right turn. Now this is into the wind. So our turn is uh, the angle of bank is going to be shallower. Wind is trying to blow us towards the railroad track. We're bringing it around. Across the track, the right track. angles again. Uh, traffic pattern, Thursday. Right angles. Yeah, 
So that completes our S turns over highway or a straight line. Thanks for flying with us.